Shall we talk about bowling shoes? Yes. So, look, I think that's it, it was a great interview. I'm a huge fan of Tim Spall. Uh, yeah, Best is, is very good. The performances in this are very good. And it is true that um, Impulse and Davis, who he talked about, um, his involvement in Dirty Filthy Love, which, of course, was a big award-winning uh, thing and, you know, very intriguing. So there's a, there's a lot of promise in this. There's a lot of talent involved in this. I have to be absolutely flat out honest, it didn't work for me. And it, doesn't, it didn't work for me for one very simple reason. There's just too much going on. So what Tim Spall referred to in that review as unfortunate events, I mean, there's unfortunate events, and then there is a catalogue of unfortunate events that it becomes quite hard to follow where the story is really going. So on the one hand, you have Bolan shoes. It has the retro thing about, and I'm a big Bolan fan, instantly. I love the fact that they use Light of Love because that doesn't get used enough, and no. I think that is an absolute banger of a song. Um, and you have stories about people having people dealing with trauma essentially hiding themselves behind characters and whether in, in the case of the Tim Spall thing you said the fact is he you know he kind of looks like Roy Wood but when you meet him it's not immediately apparent to anybody who he is and then he is recognized for who he is and he's obviously taken on this persona so all that stuff is going on and the film is also dealing with bullying and with mental health issues and you know uh with buried trauma, which is fine and admirable. The problem is that when you have a plot which has, at the very beginning of it, a kind of... Have you ever seen The Sweet Hereafter, the Atom McGowan film? I don't believe so, no. Okay, that has, at its, as its central awful event, um, a, a coach load of children being involved in an accident. And the film builds toward the, the, the kind of the revelation of that. And it is it is one single event that has traumatized an entire community. In this film, that is one event at the beginning of a drama that then has, um, you know, uh, hidden identities, adopting other people's identities. Um, it, I don't want to spoil anything, but as the plot goes on, that's not the only one of the... It, it, it piles plot point upon plot point. And as a result of doing that, there's a lot of having to explain. There is one scene in which a character has to explain to another character the kind of, the entire story of her life while the other character, who is listening in a very kind of forgiving, because he's in the business of, forgive, business of forgiveness way, has this extraordinary series of revelations and my problem is, because of that, I don't believe in any of them. Now, that is not to say that there aren't things... I mean, I think the film's heart is in the right place. And as I said, I think the performances are committed. You, only have, you said yourself, he just doesn't do mm. uncommitted performances. But it's the plot is so labyrinthine. And so uh, it, one of the things that are in it would have... I mean, I would have watched a film just about um, the character that he plays. I would have literally just watched a film about that character having a trauma in his childhood and then becoming the character that we meet blowing the bubbles. I would have watched a film about somebody who idolised Mark Boland and then something happened that they they changed who they were but kept that love of... I, any one of those individual elements, I think, would have been fine. I think when you throw them all together they just counter each other out to the point that you just go, okay, I don't know what this is trying to be. And I think it's a shame because I think there are things in there that were kind of cute and sweet and, you know, and, and obviously heartfelt, but it doesn't work. And it doesn't work because there is so much plot and so much exposition that none of it rings true. It just becomes a theatrical contrivance. Do you feel differently? No, I was, I was sort of intrigued... As to as to where it was going, um, it's quite a long time before Tim Spall's character appears, and I, for a while, I was, am it's, I what? It, for a while, and also when he appears, he appears to disappear. Yeah, pretty think, swift. Oh, uh, am I going to be doing an interview? Because this has happened in the past where someone's <laughs> in it for two minutes, yeah, yeah. Um, and in that sequence that we that we played, he's cleaning because um, it's not immediately clear because he's talking about Cary Grant in Bristol and cleaning a statue of Cary Grant. Of he's, Mark Boland. He's cleaning a statue of Mark Boland with a toothbrush and some fairy liquid, you know that you know that kind of thing. So he is nothing ever apart from you know in, totally engaging. And yeah. but I, but I I agree with you that if it had been Jimmy's story, 
that would have been that, well, that's that's enough. That would have been that would enough. have been enough. Also, too many vicars. Uh, I didn't, and I didn't believe in any. Of the, it was like stereotype vicars, stereotype vicars' wives. Not really. Didn't quite buy into any of that, really. But don't you think that any individual one of those threads would would have been mm-hmm. enough to make the movie itself? I mean, with the, the central character played by Leanne Best, she has a story which has a revelation in it. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, that that's. Enough of a re- you don't need that and the other stuff as well. It's it's one or the other, and that's why I refer back to the Atomigoyan. It's what happens is the things cancel each other out. It's it's a shame because I wanted to like it more than I did, but I can't. I you know I can't lie about it. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, they are. and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I I would. I have done. Excellent.